It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, well, the 24th or thereabouts, the Aquarius New Moon. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We talk about that all the time, right? I don't need, need to get into it. I've been getting some questions. Where's the live you did last night? Where's the live? I can't see it. Well, I made it available for just the members now. So just the, now now the members that missed it can see it. And if you are, mem are a member and you can't find it, you go to the community tab. So you go on my, on my channel and you find the tab that says community. And there'll be a... Uh, in the members only section, if you're a member, there's a message there with a link to the live and you can just click that link and it brings you right to the live if you're a member. After I got done with the live, I figured it out within minutes how to share it with just the members. So on Wednesday of next week, and we're going to do another one, um, we will, uh, I will be sharing it just with members. It was really easy. I just, in the heat of the moment last night because it was late and I don't like to be late I, I couldn't figure it out but now I know how what I do what I will do is when I go live is paste the link in that community tab for just the members so the members will see it and they'll be able to go to it so starting next Wednesday the live will be just for the members I've got all the kinks worked out thank the Lord so anyway uh, the intuition readings are coming out tomorrow for the ones that have signed up for that I will be doing both again one with the cards and one without the cards so that will be also posted in the community section for the members that hit join so let's get started what do we got for the 24th what do we got for the 24th what do we have for the Aquarius new moon what do we have Big, big changes. Big changes are coming. Yes, things are going to be illuminated very, very, very soon. Anybody that has been pretending to be happy, all the superficiality, <laughs> all the shallowness, it's going to be revealed. People, people are going to be seen for who they are. news is going to be arriving yeah I just saw the eight of wands yeah some sort of news is going to be arriving somebody's been going overboard they have I just saw the temperance and I saw it reversed you know something is off something isn't right they somebody has been really it's a, a temperance in reverse is excess extremes and it's, it's like extremely pretending extremely fake or extremely going to extremes with an addiction okay when you get the temperance reverse something is extremely unhealthy there's an uneven balance something isn't right okay it's off something is off hmm. and there's a decision that is about to be made because now I just see the two of wands. It's like the moment of decision. It's like, hmm. It's like, hmm. Somebody's like putting their finger up to their mouth. And it's like somebody's watching. And maybe it's a higher power. I don't know. And it's like, hmm. Hmm. Something isn't right. You know, it's time to make a decision. What, should, which, what are we going to do about this? Hmm. Judgment. Judge. Somebody is being judged. They're being judged, and they're about to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call. I hope you're ready to be judged. Life is about to be changed. Now, that's the big change I just saw. Judgment is a life-changing decision. A life-changing decision is upon us. That's what's happening. That's what's coming. And this leads to happiness because now I see the Ten of Cups and this is what my intuition readings are going to be for tomorrow, for each sign. But anyway, tomorrow, oh, what I was seeing what now is the Ten of Cups. Happiness. Permanent. Something permanent. A permanent love. Ten of Cups is like spiritual blessings. It's a real blessing. It's comfort. Comfort. 
It's being in a comfortable, happy place. It's, it's, that is happiness when you get to the Ten of Cups. That's extreme happiness. But the only way you can get to the extreme happiness is to deal with the extremely unacceptable behavior that you have been avoiding. Ha! Huh? And damn, it's going to take facing some life challenges because now I see the Nine of Wands. And that's going to take strength. And somebody hasn't been able to find the strength because they've been self-medicating. All right, let's let's use some cards here. What are we What are we talking about? What are, what's going on here? We have some ill health. Somebody is definitely ill. Ooh, six of wands reverse. Not making progress. Somebody is not making prog progress. They're not headed in the right direction. They're staying in a situation. It's like they're battling. They're really, really battling. This is like a constant battle, right? It's a constant battle. And it's a constant battle because you have to find the strength to persevere through this, through this stormy weather. You have to keep fighting. You can't give up. So it feels like we have somebody here that, that has... Uh, what what are they doing here? It's like they're trying to prove something. Somebody is trying to prove something that is unreal. When all they all they have to do is like get out of it, just just leave it behind. That's why I saw the two of wands. You've got to leave that shit behind. What is the freaking problem? Are you weak? Hmm. Two of Pentacles reverse. This is upheaval. This is making a poor decision. Somebody just can't take the steps that they need to take. Fighting. It's totally fighting. Fighting. It's almost like fighting a higher power. Fighting what is meant to be. Definitely lacking balance. Okay, we have some somebody that is lacking balance in their life. They keep making poor decisions. They're trying to do too much, trying to prove themselves to be somebody that they are not. Somebody has probably bitten off more than they can chew, and they may be in some huge mess. They're definitely in, it's like they're in some sort of really difficult situation. It's like they're right in the middle of uh, the storm, okay? This is a loss, though. We have some... This is a loss. You could be losing two things instead of just one, by the way. This is like falling down. Somebody cause is about to make have a fall. They may trip. They may trip up. Foolish. There's foolish behavior here. Oh, 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 the Knight of Swords reverse. This is somebody who is uh, crazy. This person is crazy, okay? Um, hold on, let me fix this light right here. This is for somebody who is ignorant. This somebody We may have somebody here that has some mental health problems. This person can explode at any moment. This is something somebody that could get out of control uh, when things don't go their way. Blames everybody for their problems but causes their own problems because <laughs> they try to take on too much. This is trying to take on too much. We have somebody here that is, is bringing problems into their life. They act hastily. They act foolishly. We have a foolish individual here who doesn't think. This person doesn't think before they act. They probably lie as well. Interesting. This person leads other people into danger. They have their own agenda. I feel like something is going to happen here. Hmm. 
what is going on with this knight of swords reversed this knight of swords reversed is is a dangerous person okay this is danger it really is danger especially with this card it feels like we have somebody here that is going through some sort of mental dysfunction of some sort and they're it's just, it's just you could say losing their marbles okay and I said crazy what the hell is going on here somebody may lose it okay somebody may lose it or lose something oh the hermit reverse we have somebody here that is not awakened somebody that is not consciously aware Now, this could be some sort of paranoia. We could have somebody here that is paranoid. And their paranoia could be leading them in, a, in the wrong direction. It's like somebody is going in the wrong direction. Somebody may have been in hiding and they're going to come out of hiding. So beware. Beware. I'm just, I'm not trying to scare anybody. But this is coming out of hiding. And this is somebody who is dangerous. I mean, I could not try to scare you guys and make up some shit, but that doesn't work for me. This is coming out of hiding. This is a dangerous individual that may be losing their marbles. <laughs> Sorry. You know, this is somebody losing it. They're, they're about to flip out. Okay. This is upside down. I mean, this is, this is like, I, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it don't look good. Maybe they didn't get recognized or they're not being recognized or they're not being listened to or they've been in some sort of war zone. They've been in some sort of battle and, you know, <laughs> hey, it is what it is, right? This is explosive energy right here. So, you know, this is something, you know, so this is kind of the Knight of Swords is kind of like a tower moment. It is. So we could have somebody here that is lonely. They are lonely. They're, they've been alone. They're losing it. You know, they need some interaction and they explode. And who knows? Who knows? Let's just see what happens here. <whistles> King of Pentacles reversed. So we have Virgo. We have Tor uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right here. Could be anybody. But this person isn't stable. We have somebody here that isn't stable. This person may be involved in some legal issues. Okay, may they, because the king of pentacles in reverse will do things illegally to obtain money. Okay, think anything to get money. Okay, so somebody could involve themselves in think illegal dealings to get money. And you know, they, you know, they could they could trip. They could they could get you know they. Oh, my God. Somebody could get in trouble. Okay, what could happen is they may think that they're not going to get caught, and they could get caught. So this could be, you just look at it like this could be somebody who thinks they're going to steal. They think they're going to get away with it. Maybe they got a, I saw that temperance card, and I saw it reverse. That's addictions. We could have somebody here that has addictions, and they're going to steal, and they get caught. You know, get, they get caught by whoever they're, they don't think they're going to get recognized, but they do. So that could certainly be the case. This could be somebody, and it could happen at night. This could be like somebody breaking in or something like that. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I happen to notice this nighttime. So just be careful. Keep your freaking doors locked. Anyway, um, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who needs money, doesn't have money. Um, or this person is focused too much on their job and they're not focused on a relationship. But in this deck in particular, it looks to me like we have somebody here that is, has made a lot of poor financial, uh, decisions. They've made poor, poor financial choices and they're not getting anywhere. They don't have any money. They're not headed in the right direction and they could do something crazy to get money. And this, their crazy acts could get them in trouble. Okay, somebody could do some, end up doing something crazy to obtain some money, and you know it could get them in trouble. Eight of eight of cups reversed. Now that was the very first card I saw when I started talking. When I started, when I said somebody's pretending to be happy. When I said superficial and shallow, that's what I was seeing. Was the eight of cups reversed? 
that is somebody that is staying in a situation, they're avoiding, they're refusing to move on. Somebody is refusing to move away from something, and it could be an addiction, okay? It, they're refusing to move on from something that is emotionally unfulfilling. They're staying there for superficial reasons. Refusing to move. Somebody is refusing to move. But it's like they can't afford it or something like that. Ooh, we definitely have somebody here that is refusing to move with the chariot reversed. This is somebody that can't master their emotions. Uh, they don't have a lot of willpower. They've lost their uh, ability to take action. And they're probably, there could be an emotional outburst. There could actually be a disaster a a ahead, okay, when you get this reversed. It's like somebody is headed towards disaster. They are... Um, oh, wow. Yikes. So, you know, I, I hate to say this all the time, but then I know that there's a lot of car accidents, but with this card and this card, there, there, beware, beware. If you think you're going to speed, this is like speeding right here, the Knight of Swords reversed. It really is. So this is speeding. So if you think that you're going to speed away, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because there could be a car accident. So I don't know whose message that is. I, just, I wouldn't, I, you know, stay home if you can, okay? Because it feels like it feels like we have somebody here that may get themselves into a bout of trouble and they try to get away and they try to get away and somebody could get hurt. And I don't know whose message that is for, but just be careful. Um, this is an emotional outburst. This is, I think, something coming to a dead stop, okay? The chariot reverse. This is not, it's coming to a stop. Something is going to come to a, a dead halt, okay? Um, there could be some car issues as well with the, with the chariot reversed. Um, this is emotions all over the place. We have somebody here that is, uh, they could be angry even, um, we have somebody here that is, is like scatterbrained and they're having issues because they're not progressing. They're not headed towards, they're, they're really in some sort, they're battling. They're really battling their themselves, okay? They're, they're really dealing with like an uphill battle and it's like everybody is pointing at them and they, they're not getting anywhere and they're not getting anywhere because they've lost their drive to succeed. They can't find their willpower to change their direction. And this person that is, 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 it's like this person is thinking that if they, you know, they can get away with something that is illegal by the looks of things. I guess sneeze coming. I'm trying to push it down. I don't want to hit pause because I don't have to edit this. It's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I just saw the tower, okay? When when I went, I just saw the tower when I went to sneeze. So you may, we know what the tower is. It's explosive. There's a shock. There's destruction. There's an accident. There's a, a tower moment that is coming. There is. There's a tower moment coming for somebody that is um, not progressing forward. This person cannot find their mental ability, their strength, and their willpower to change their direction. So whoever this person is that is doing things illegally to obtain money, they are doing things um, against the law, okay? They are doing things in hiding. They are doing things secretly. They are thinking they are getting away with it. Whoever this person is that is doing that, there is going to be a tower moment, okay? There's going to be a disruption that changes your direction. Um, so, yeah, I think that uh, you should be prepared for that. Here's our two of wands. <laughs> Two of Wands reverse. Somebody has been unable to to change their direction, right? Because upright, it's where you're at that crossroads and you make the choice which way you're going to go. Here, it's like total indecision. There's fear of change. There's lack of planning. There's staying put. There's uh, going back and forth. So I think, and this can be a sudden, this is in the reverse can be a sudden change. 
So there is definitely going to be a sudden change, okay? There is going to be a sudden change. Um, it's almost like that chariot reversed is like there's going to be an outburst. There's going to be some sort of... Mm. You know, I want to, I feel like it's going to be an accident. I'm sorry, but I feel like it's going to be an accident. I feel like there's going to be some sort of accident. And accidents don't have to be a car accident. But we do have a vehicle here because that chariot is a vehicle. So there could be a car accident that forces a change. You, you had the choice. You, you were, you had the option to choose another path. You had the option. It was given to you. You were unaware. You chose to ignore it. Somebody could end up, I mean, if you, I mean, somebody could end up being interrogated. They could end up having regrets. They could end up, uh, you know, this is the four of swords. This is the death. It's the death of a person or the death of an idea. They could, and this, if you think about this, you think about this, you, if you remember and you're watching a movie and you see them, people being interrogated, you know, in the prison or whatever, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? I mean, somebody could end up at the police station or they could end up, you know, some place they don't want to be. They could end up, you know, what if you end up hurting another person or the other, somebody could end up getting hurt is what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, um, I feel as though it's time for recuperation. It's time for healing. It's time to take a break and it's time to get help. Somebody needs some help. And sometimes it takes handcuffs to get help I don't know where I why I'm seeing handcuffs but that's what I'm seeing so um, I'm not sure who if who's that's gonna be or if that's gonna be but that could certainly happen um, I just saw the five of swords which is defeat defeat this is non-negotiable. We definitely have a bully here because the Five of Swords is a bully and this is a bully. So we have somebody here that has been trying to bully their way through life. Um, their bullyish ways are going to catch up with them. Um, this is a hostile situation. Somebody has been in a hostile situation. Um, we have somebody that has no morals, has no conscience. This, okay, and that five of swords that I see, and they're and they don't, they don't. And I think that that this person that doesn't have any morals and doesn't have any conscience that is totally asleep, they are totally not awake, is about to get a wake up call. Remember, I saw the judgment card at the beginning, that's what I saw. I hope you are ready to be judged for your actions because that's what is upon you. Good luck.